compact and determined Uruguayan side defending their country's tremendous track record in the Copa America. But they were soon up against it. And there's a lovely through ball and a lovely turn as well. And Mexico could get the first and have brilliant finish. Borghetti gives Mexico the lead. Here you see it, look, cross shot right into that far side netting. Great finish. It's excellent, he does a lovely little turn inside. You think the chance is gone, he gets back at him, Lima, but does him again with a lovely disguise and then finishes with some aplomb in that far corner. Just a little bit in the build-up there, wonderful ball from Aspe, still got a lot to do there. Yeah, great manipulating the ball, keeps it close control, wonderful finish. Uruguay might have to inject a, a little bit more pace into their game. Now that's a naughty tackle by Garcia Aspe, the referee's let play go on. A challenge came in then from Morales. I suppose he's going to get booked here, I think, for that earlier challenge. Yeah, he does. One area of the tournament's been disappointing for me, it's been the goalkeeping standard. Let's see if the keeper does any better here. To be fair, I don't think any goalkeeper would have kept that one out. 1-1. One, one. Wonderful area. Great leap from Morales. Tremendous header. Out jumps Vidrio, I think it is, at the far post. And again, Lemos puts it in with a bit more pace. Look at the whip on the ball. He out jumps Vidrio. Head and shoulders above him. Great header. No chance for the keeper. Here you see, picks against Vidrio. There he is, out jumps him. Powers into the corner of the net. Fantastic header from Morales. All getting a bit bogged down in midfield in this first half as we uh, see Morales going forward again and being hauled down by Vidrio this time and bodies spinning all over the place again. The referee has got to take some action here and he's going to. This is Morales. And a red card has come out. It's a red card. I think this is a poor decision from the referee. I don't think it, there's, there's not much, that much of in, intent there. I really don't. I think it's an outrageous decision. Sporting what was really, really an entertaining game. And the long walk rather earlier than he wished for Carles Maria Morales, the Uruguayan striker. Let's have a look now here. Oh no, I think I got that wrong, there's a massive contact there. It's a very, very poor decision, poor, poor decision from Morales there, very, very wild challenge. I mean, Torado nicks the ball, and that's thigh high, that's an outrageous challenge, and quite right, the referee got it wrong, got it right, I got it wrong the first time round. Now, well, can they hang on here, Uruguay? Mexico going closer and closer. Garcia Aspe. This is Morales. Another great cross. Was that a penalty? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's been coming, hasn't it? The pressure has been mounting, and somehow or other, you just felt that Uruguay were about to snap, and now they have. I think it was Sorondo. No, it wasn't Sorondo. Torado. A Lima, actually, Lima. Wrong side of his man, poor challenge, he's caught himself wrong side, wonderful ball in for Morales and they were patient, you know, they stretched him wide, stretched out Morales to give the wonderful ball, Torado got wrong side of the Negris and the, the substitution that we all talked about in making has paid dividends, it's up to Garcia Aspe to turn it into goals. I have to say he did make the most of it, didn't look that much there but it's certainly a little shove. So the captain, given the responsibility, of sending Mexico into the lead and maybe sending them into the final. It's a long wait, isn't it? A long wait. The tension mounts. Garcia Aspe, however, sweeps it home and Mexico are back in front for the second time in this semi final. And the oldest player in Mexico's squad. Alberto Garcia Raspe, who's uh, won almost 100 caps for his country, 
might just have given them their passport to the final with that goal. Oliveira uses his strength to hold on to possession. They're certainly making a game of this, Uruguay. And they'll get a free kick. Just thinking here, Aspe there. Garcia Aspe, it is, he's off. Oh and dear. It, and again, Calais has, to, Calais has to remind the referee, that's three or four times, he gets a second yellow, off he goes. And now we're going to have a game for the last two or three minutes. And that will mean, of course, that Mexico's captain, and quite possibly their match winner, will be forced to sit out the final if Mexico get there. It's such a shame for him, you know, probably his, his last Copa as well. And uh, shows his frustration there, he really is disappointed. There's another free kick given away. They're panicking, Mexico. Yeah, it's just such a silly challenge from Ramon Morales there. I mean, he doesn't need to do that. Just let him have the ball in front. Give away a set piece this time in the game. Could be very, very costly. Diaz will take it. Is there a final twist of drama in here? Something's going on off the ball, presumably. Referee absolutely sprinting across. There's going to be another red card, I think, in the middle of all this lot. There's a red card. Morales. And the girl. Oh, and there's another incident off the ball. Right under the nose of the referee. Well, I think it's a shame Morales has had to get involved in that late on. He's played so well. That's a scandalous thing. I mean, it's clearly nutted him in the back of his head there. I mean, that's an outrageous thing. I've been sent off already. That's an outrage. Mind you, it looks like Vigio did make a bit too much of it there. It's all over. A dramatic, controversial and very eventful night.